Hey guys, and welcome to the fourth and final video in our four part series. So today we're gonna to be looking at how our models turned out and we're gonna do a little animation. Okay, here we go. All right guys, and welcome to our fourth and final video in this small series. Well, uh, let me repeat what I mentioned in video number one. I am not a character guy. I don't model characters, I don't animate characters, okay? So this is way out of my comfort zone, but I did it anyway because you guys asked me to, and maybe this will inspire people that are new to this as well to just uh, jump in and get started, okay? Now, what we did so far in our first three videos is we created our parent rig guy right here on the left and how that simply works is if I take the main control here, I can hit W, move him around. If I want to, let's say, move his arm, I'll start with the shoulder, hit E to rotate that, move it, then take the elbow, move that, take the hand, move that, and so forth. And same with the leg, oops, make sure I got the right control here. There you go, yeah. Leg, knee, foot. Okay, now that can be kind of tedious, obviously. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna reset this guy to its original position. There you go. And we're gonna look at our joint rig guy. Now for that, I'm gonna go into my channel box and just make sure that my uh, parent rig guy is not visible by turning that off, so it's gone. And what we've got here, well, totally different ball game. Uh, because of the way the joints are set up, I can now, for example, take the, uh, the pelvic control here. And if I hit W to move it, I can, for example, simulate some guy that's, you know, boogieing or skiing off a slope or whatnot, okay? I can take the individual arm controls here and move them around like so. I can take a, a foot, move that and all that kind of stuff, okay? I can uh, rotate the head off if I want. So, a lot of control. Now, even for something that is not an organic model, okay? This is basically kind of a robot type deal. So, you still got a lot of control. Now, what I wanna do here, and again, you know, I do not have any experience with this, is I want to just keyframe a couple of very simple animations so you got an idea of how that works, okay? So, this is our, um, our position where the um, character is standing still. And what I wanna do is I wanna start with that and just, um, you know, keyframe that. So I'm gonna take that pelvic control first. I'm on frame one. I'm gonna hit S to keyframe that. I'm gonna scrub to frame, let's say, around 24, which would be one second, okay? I'm gonna hit W to push that down like this. And then I'm gonna hit S to keyframe that again. Then I'm gonna scrub up to, let's say, around 50, which would be roughly two seconds, okay? And I'm gonna pull that up and jump off of the ground and hit S to keyframe that. Now let's set our entire animation to 50, like this, and hit play and see what happens. Boom, and boom, okay. So now let's add a little bit to that, okay? So we know that um, the character goes down uh, on the knees like this. And let's say we want to raise one arm up while we do that. So we're gonna scrub back to frame one. We're gonna take this arm right here. I'm gonna as to keyframe that. We're gonna scrub to frame 24. And at frame 24, I want this arm to be, I don't know, stretched up like that. Maybe not that far, I don't wanna break his shoulder, okay? Something like that, okay? So we're gonna hit S to keyframe that, and then we're gonna scrub to frame 50 where it's back in its original position. Let's see, where is my, uh, up there, yeah. So what we wanna do there is we wanna go in and let's set the translate values back to zero. There you go, and we're gonna hit as to keyframe that. So let me just select it. Yes, there you go. So now if we jump to frame one and we hit play, we see this guy jumping up and down and at the same time raising his arm, okay? So now let's uh, add a little bit more. Let's go in and for example, uh, I don't know, twist, um, twist his torso, okay? 
So I didn't make an individual control for that. So we're just gonna select the joint in the middle right there. Make sure we're on frame one. I'm gonna hit S to keyframe that. We're gonna scrub to 24. At 24, we're gonna hit E and we're gonna rotate it like this. We're gonna S to keyframe that again. Then we're gonna scrub to frame 50. And at 50, I want that rotation value set back to zero. So zero zero and zero and we're going to go in and hit s to keyframe and if it doesn't want to do that just select that joint and hit s okay jump back to frame one let's see what we got okay so you can see that the torso is twisting now and you can see the arm go up Okay, so let's do one more thing just to make it funky and we'll call it a day, all right? Okay, so we're gonna stop this. We're gonna jump back to frame one. Now, when we scrub through this, you see that it goes down here and then from this point, it starts to come back up, okay? So let's say we want the leg to kick out as it moves up here, okay? So we're gonna go to frame 24. I'm gonna select this leg right here and on 24, I'm gonna hit S to keyframe that. And as it moves up to, let's say frame 50, I want that leg to be way over here and bent backwards. And again, it's a totally stupid motion, but it doesn't matter. It's about the principle of things, okay? So there you go. So we're there, we're gonna hit S to keyframe that. We're gonna jump back and I'm gonna go in and hit Select this guy, hit five for shaded mode. And let's see, I don't want that wireframe on shaded. There you go. And I don't want to see those joints. Okay, so let's uh, go in and hit play. See what we got. All right. So like I said, a pretty stupid animation, but it doesn't matter. It's just to explain to you what possibilities you got with this, all right? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little journey. Uh, if you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on future videos and see you guys next time, okay? Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.